Hi, this is Tim with the Watchbox at Vacheron Constantin. Here on assignment with Europa Star Magazine, I am at Vacheron Constantin with the Overseas Tourbillon, a 2019 model year debut. This watch is 42.5 millimeters in stainless steel, features a sensational black polished metal dial base with a translucent blue lacquer on top. And as you can see, the works, a tourbillon with black polished Maltese cross upper carriage, specular polished full bridge, the watch with a screw down crown is swimmable at 50 meters and it retains the ingenious quick release lug system from the remainder of the overseas series. You can see caliber 2160 on the case back with a peripheral rotor. It is a peripheral rotor automatic with an 80 hour power reserve. And as you can see, Geneva Hallmark inside and out. This is a watch that simply stuns. It even comes with accessories. You get a full deployment clasp, a leather strap and a rubber strap in blue to match the dial. 42.5 millimeters in stainless steel. This is pretty close to the perfect watch. Vacheron Constantin, overseas tourbillon new for 2019. This is the 56 self-winding, 40 millimeters in stainless steel. It's a continuation of the 56 series that launched in the previous year. You can see that the evolution for this model year is this blue dial, which is exceptional in its details. Sunburst hour track and an opaline frosted center, all applique indices as well as numerals. The timepiece features a handsome box section sapphire, as well as a nicely tucked semi-teardrop lug profile. The lugs are strong with this one. You can see the outer faces, the points at the corners, referencing the 1950. 56 reference 6073. Turn it all over. You can see automatic Swiss caliber twin mainspring barrels. The watch features a hand finished and fully skeletonized winding mass on every reference in the 56 collection. So you do get a solid dollop of luxury in each model. A practical all arounder. You can see the self winding on Vacheron's website and check out our coverage on YouTube. And we're looking at the Vacheron Constantin 56 triple calendar. 40 millimeters. You can see this watch is an excellent value comprising a manufactured caliber with extraordinary skeletonized and hand-finished solid gold winding mass, Geneva Hallmark caliber, Geneva Hallmark case, and then the main event on the dial side featuring a sunburst as well as opaline blue finish. You can see the center, let's get close here, is actually an opaline frosted style finish. And then there's a directional sunburst outboard comprising the hour track all the way outboard. You can see a radial 31 day display. There's a crescent style moon phase with a gorgeous polished aperture at six o'clock. And of course the day and the month at 12. One more look at the case back now that we're close hauled and you can see adjusted in five positions like a chronometer and beautifully blazing with Cote de Genève black polished mirrored enclage and engine turning. You can see that this is the patrimony day and date, a timepiece with a sensational sunburst blue dial with a rose gold case. The timepiece 42.3 millimeters in diameter, manufacturer caliber on the case back, beautifully executed on both sides, but it's the dial that stuns. Retrograde's a distinctive tradition of Vacheron Constantin since the late 1990s. This watch is actually part of a collection of patrimony models in red gold with blue dials. This right here is the patrimony automatic with date. And as you can see, the timepiece with considerably less clutter about its dial, 40 millimeters in red gold with blue sunburst, but we can get tidier still because here I have the patrimony featuring manual wind caliber 1400, knife edge profile, ultra slim, the timepiece incredibly flat, sitting limpet like on the wrist with an explosive sunburst dial. This is a powerful collection. Small variations on existing models, but beautifully executed. And this is the Overseas Perpetual Ultra Thin, a timepiece 41 millimeters in diameter and razor slim in profile. New for this year is a sensational sunburst blue dial. It's actually a combination of a black polished dial base and a translucent lacquer on top. The dial with phenomenal balance as well as depth. In a case, 41 millimeters in diameter but ultra slim at under nine millimeters thick the watch featuring an automatic based on Vacheron Constantin's legendary 1120 of course based on the Chichero 920 from 1967 it is an ultra slim movement with an annular balance and a 22 karat hand engraved compass rose mass you can see it still retains the quick release lugs from the standard overseas collection a watch that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best from Audemars Piguet, as well as Patek Philippe. This is a sporty canister for a classical complication. See it and make it yours.